or for anyone who's clicked on this video, you know, by mistake. No, well, hoping to see, you know, detailed and attention-paying commentary of the game and expert strategy, perhaps rapier-like wit, and instead found me blathering on about computer building. Um, tough, really. <laughs> I mean, I know I should be more concerned about making these videos entertaining for for the newcomers and the people who might randomly click on this and decide, hmm, you know what, this guy knows what he's doing, he's got some real professionalism going on, he's cracking the game like a pro, he's moving, he's zigging, he's zagging, he's firing off one-liners left, right and centre. But, uh, you know, I can't be bothered anymore. I spent, what, about eight months, nine months, something like that, thus far. And it's taken me this long just to gather up uh, 30 people. All you 30, well, 32, isn't it? 32 folks are, of course, the most awesome folks on YouTube. Don't get me wrong there. But uh, after all that time, I can't be bothered, you know, trying to make every single second, you know, a hook. It'll drag newcomers screaming into my bin of subscribers. If you like the videos, subscribe. If you don't, clear off. Didn't want you here anyway. So yeah. Hopefully you were all watching there. You should have seen what I did. Play a song of storms to get rid of him. That's probably the only time in the main story game you have to use that. I think you can use it for side quest items and stuff, but other than that... Still a funky beat being played by those speakers. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> See, even the Gibida Gibada? Gibida? Whatever. Even they're feeling it. They're like, ooh. ooh. Being so nourished struck my funky stuff. Come on, mummy boy. You know you want to. Hey, this, come on. We were dancing or teasing. Whichever the way, it's good news for me. Thriller. Thriller, yeah. Killer. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> yes, that was incredibly silly. Stop that. Start at once. It's a serious game for serious people. I have to ask, though, uh, my fine mustachioed friend. How exactly was poisoning the river going to revive the deceased royal family? Just out of curiosity. I mean, yes, admittedly, you stopped the music house, which seems to be playing a song which banishes the undead. But even so, you seem to have really thought this through very well. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he's basically directing us to the next part of the quest. In order to get into the temple, we need to speak to the King of the Incan people. And to get into his castle, we need a very special item. Of course, he doesn't tell us that. This is just the fact that I've already played the game and thus know that we need a special item. And to get that item, we need about five or so damn other items in order to get through the mini dungeon that leads to where the item is. Now... Is there anything actually hidden down here? I can never remember. I'll take a quick gander. Won't hurt anyone. You know, unless there's spiky things down there. They might hurt Link. Nope. Nothing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mosey on out of here. You may notice I'm more or less keeping the captain's uh, hat on. With all but a few exceptions. The first of these is where I use the stone mask here to sneak into the music house. Now the reason I want to sneak into the music house will become apparent very soon. 
Now you can get in here without using the stone mask. But if you're not wearing it, and you attempt to do anything more than a very, 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 very slow walk, this little brat will refuse to let you in. Bring the stone mask, she can't see you, and we can break an ender with impudity. Impudity. Fuck's sake. I can't be losing my ability to speak already. Uh, let's see, Song of Healing. It's left, right, down. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Looks like somebody's been studying the Gabardo. Well, that's a very colourful cupboard over there. Let's go raid it for supplies, shall we? Need what's the worst good Ah Mummy creature! Kill it! Kill it with fire! No, not really. You can kill him, I think, but uh much better idea is to do this. If you try and kill him, his daughter will burst in and demand to know what kind of monster you are. Shortly before he eats her, presumably. As I recall the story correctly, this twat in his studies of the undead was attempting to create a mask that would allow it to pass amongst their, their number unmolested. However, he cocks it up quite horrifically and ends up turning himself into a hideous monster and locks himself in that little cupboard there to protect his daughter from him. Very touching father daughter moment here. Where she pretends that she wasn't incredibly distressed and freaked out by uh, his rather stupid experiment. Yeah, now we get the mask. You know, our magical song being capable of sealing it properly so it won't mutate us. Aww, isn't that cute? Can I have a hug too? Let them be! Don't you get it? You're so insensitive! I just wanted a cuddle! <laughs> but yeah. Just get out of here. Yeah, oh god, that song's annoying. Now you can see why I replaced it a couple of moments ago. If I could find the file that's responsible for that particular music, I probably would delete it from the ROM. Seriously, I hate that fucking thing. Uh, oh well. Right. Down the well. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm just trying to do a drop and grab. There we go. Works nicely. Just a nice quick way of getting down these longer ladder stretch sections. Just drop and then hit forward every now and again. Make sure you don't drop all the way. That won't work out very well at all. Not for Link, anyway. Imagine the price of spatulas would go up dramatically after that, but... Uh -huh. You notice we're missing only two masks. One we'll be getting in the stone tower, and the last of list, last of those, even, is a bonus item we get for handing over all the masks we find. So yeah, this is why we need all that crap. Right, he wants the magic beans, so we should give him those, like so. And then he, you know, sets himself on fire and thanks. I'm not quite sure how that works, but whatever. And it's also with... Piss. Mess that up. <clears throat> it's also within this dungeon that you can get a hold of, um... Damn, what is it now? Uh, yeah, the uh, the fairy fountain for this area. It's also located in this little mini dungeon. So you only have to go through two doors to get to that. But in order to do so, you need a rare magical item. So... Once I've got the stone temple unlocked, uh, what I'll probably do is walk back to the first day. Rather than trying to do with the temple in one go. And, uh... What was I thinking of? Wait, I recognise that sound. That's a war master. Those freaky hand things from the uh, the forest temple. And the shadow temple too. Horrid little things. Actually, no, they wouldn't be very little, but they'd be fucking massive to Shardlick. Ugh. Anyway.
I'll walk back to the first day and get all the items I need to access the fairy fountain before I try and... So I just lost my track of thought entirely. Hmm. Doesn't help that I'm starting to feel unwell again. It would be nice if I could go for more than a couple of days at a time without feeling like crap. That would be majestic. Or marvellous. Of such M words. Uh, what was I actually speaking of now? Yes, I'll uh, I'll reset the thing and get the magical item necessary before I tackle the temple. Shall I attempt once again to get all of the necessary stray fairies? And we shall get our funky little bonus item. Which you know, will be nice. Right, so that Gibardo wasn't the one I was looking for. Can I close this? No, I can't. Fine. What's around here then? A couple of bugs, some fire. Not much else, really. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was close. Right. So if it's not you, it must be you that I have to go to. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, I can't entirely remember what I have to do here. I do know at some point, I can't remember it exactly, but I know at some point I'm supposed to, um, I'm supposed to light some torches somewhere. A little disturbed by the fact the bloke who's committing suicide wants bombs, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Now, is this a mini boss room? That would be a big yes. <laughs> ghost! We ain't scared of no ghost. You know the original ghost bugsters, don't you know? And again, I stumbled over my words, didn't I? We need to stop doing that. Oh, miss me. See, the pirate isn't working. Perhaps a plie might catch me. You fucking undead pansy. Come on! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! But he fails. Oh, what a pity. Oh, so close. Really? No, no you weren't. I lied. Nah. Oh, there you are. Oh, and again! So close. And now you're dead. Uh. Excuse me, what's the protocol here? He is dead, but I've just killed him, sort of. Hmm. Let's go with defeated. Yes, we defeated you. Crap! Then ran straight into the spikes. Well done. Well done, Lazo. Ah. I'm pretty sure that's all we need from this area, so let's book on back over here. Now you may remember, it was a Gibardo I gave stuff to, but didn't go through the door off. That's because we need to go and acquire this Poe Ghost. Um, is there anything in here? Ah, yes. Uh, you can basically grab more or less all the Deku nuts you'll need from this little area, if you haven't already got them. I think with the exception of the milk, and uh, maybe the bombs, I think you can find more or less every item you're supposed to need actually within this place. It's just a damn sight quicker to come in there with all of them ready prepared. Now is this the place where I light all the torches I wonder? Give it a go. Not yet. Over here? No, not here either. Hmm. Over here, maybe? No. Don't want to waste the arrow, but I've got no choice. Bollocks. Uh, so is it this guy I talk to? Ooh, pots. Full of black bows! Kill him! Kill him with fire! You know, magical or otherwise, I don't really care. Just kill the little bastards. Hate them. Hate them all. Okay, let's try this again. Are you supposed to be the one I'm talking to, though? Ah, yes, you wanted the ghost, that's fine. 
Okay, not sure what you want with a ghost, but uh, mine is not the question. Mine is to mindlessly provide and hope not to have to stick around to witness the consequences.